As a blockchain developer, you can make $100,000 per year. That's already pretty good, but is this going to be enough to buy a Lambo? No, we need more. As a blockchain developer, you can specialize in a specific niche that pays up to $250,000 per year. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Blocks, I teach blockchain development. Quick announcement, there are some scammers who impersonate me in the comment section of each video. These scammers create clones of my channel with the same name and same logo. They pretend to be me, lure their victim to WhatsApp before asking for some payments against a service that never comes. First, do not engage with them. Second, make sure to report them to YouTube. You can report not only the comment itself, but also the channel of the scammer. How do you know if it's really me in the comments? First, when it's really me, you will see a blue or gray background under my name. Second, I will never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or any other social media. The only way to contact me is with my email, julian at eattheblocks.com, that's it. So that's it for this service announcement. Let's get back into our topic. End user will not interact with smart contracts directly. End user will use the front end of your app to interact with smart contracts. That's why the front end of a blockchain app is very important. The front end of a blockchain app is 90% similar to a web application. That means that as a front end specialist, you will need to have the same skills as if you were doing a regular web application. You will need to know very well HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the latest CSS frameworks, the latest JavaScript framework for front-end, TypeScript, how to manage state on the front-end, how to test your code, not only unit testing, but also integration testing. There is also a part of the front-end that is unique to blockchain apps. It's the integration with the blockchain and with wallets. You will have to know the API of the wallets, the UI UX challengings related to wallet integration and JavaScript libraries to integrate with the blockchain. Where does this leave us on the job market? Even though the front end of a blockchain hub has some parts that are specific to blockchain, a large part of it is just a regular web application. It means in the pool of applicants for front end specialists, you will compete with people who do any kind of web applications. This is many more people than just the one in the blockchain industry. More potential applicants means more competition, which means lower salaries. Don't get me wrong, I do think you can do very well as a front-end expert in the blockchain industry, but you will not have the highest paying jobs in the industry. So we have to continue our exploration. As a blockchain developer, another way to specialize is in Solidity. Solidity is the most widely used language for smart contracts, so it makes sense to focus on this language. Solidity looks like JavaScript, but it's really misleading because beneath the surface, Solidity is actually very different from JavaScript. One of the biggest differences with JavaScript is that once you deploy a smart contract, you cannot update its code anymore. That means it's extremely important to test your smart contract before you deploy it. One way to specialize in Solidity would be to become extremely good at testing your smart contracts. If you want to specialize in Solidity, another thing to learn is how the EVM work. The EVM is the Ethereum virtual machine. That's the part of Ethereum that runs your smart contract. Before you deploy a smart contract, you have to compile it into what we call EVM opcodes. The EVM opcodes are a series of elementary instructions that is understood by the EVM. These instructions are very simple. For example, make an addition, copy this data from memory, create a pointer to this area of memory, etc. If you have done some low-level programming with C, it should feel pretty familiar. Ultimately, it's this code that will run on the blockchain. So if you want to be a Solidity specialist, you need to understand all these EVM opcodes. From Solidity, it's also possible to directly manipulate these opcodes with what we call assembly. Within your Solidity code, you can declare assembly blocks and inside you can directly execute EVM opcodes. This can be useful for some advanced use cases like gas optimization or some time to execute some EVM codes that haven't been included in the Solidity language yet, like create2. Beside this, there are also some other concepts that you need to learn as a Solidity specialist for example, how to make smart contract updatable, how to create gas efficient smart contracts, etc. There is really a lot to learn to be a Solidity specialist. As a Solidity specialist, you can probably earn between 150 to 200k per year, which is great, but we can go even higher than that. 
In 2020, hackers stole for more than $120 million in smart contracts. When hackers steal money in traditional finance, because the system is centralized, it's often possible to revert transactions and recover the money that was stolen. But on the blockchain, everything is decentralized and once a transaction has been sent, we cannot revert it. It means once a hacker has stolen money on the blockchain, it's very difficult to recover the money. One way we can find hackers on the blockchain is to report their addresses to centralized exchanges like Coinbase. These centralized exchanges can then block the address of the hacker from using the platform, which will prevent hackers to convert the stolen crypto into fiat money. Another way we can fight hackers on the blockchain is to freeze their crypto, but it's only possible if they use centralized stablecoins like USDC or USDT. But hackers know this and often they won't keep their stolen crypto in centralized stablecoins. Oftentimes, just after the hack, hackers quickly convert the crypto to Bitcoin, then they use what we call a Bitcoin mixer, which allow them to exchange the dirty Bitcoin into clean Bitcoin that we cannot trace back to their original addresses. Once they have done this, the money is gone forever. That's why smart contract security is a really big deal. If you, as a blockchain developer, are able to write safe smart contracts without security vulnerabilities, this skill is worth a lot of money. And unsurprisingly, experts in smart contract security are the developers that make the most money in the blockchain industry. In terms of salaries, as an expert in smart contract security, you can reach 250k per year, sometimes even more, which is on par with the salaries that you could get in the top tech companies in the Silicon Valley, except that you can do this remotely, you don't need to suffer from the very high cost of living in San Francisco. So this 250k figure I mentioned, if earned remotely, it's actually equivalent to a job in the Silicon Valley that will pay double the same amount. I hesitated when I first made this video if I should separate the concept of security specialist from security specialist because ultimately as a security specialist you need to be knowledgeable in security as well. Be aware of this nuance but if you want to really reach the highest salaries possible in blockchain you should really highlight the fact that beside your knowledge in solidity you are also very knowledgeable in security. How can you become a security expert? If you are a total beginner and you don't know blockchain development, it's a bit too early to think about that. Start by learning the basics of blockchain development and on my channel, you will find a tons of tutorials for that. If you already know blockchain development, you already know how to build blockchain apps, including smart contracts and front-end, you can specialize further by becoming an expert in smart contract security. Next week on the Eat the Blocks Academy, we will have a live training on smart contract security. In this live training, you will learn the main security vulnerabilities in smart contracts and how to fix them. This will be done by Suhil Msasi. Suhil is an expert in smart contract security who has done many smart contract audits for big blockchain companies. Before working in the blockchain industry, Suhil used to work in cybersecurity doing penetration testing, vulnerability analysis, and training. Security is really a very specific niche and for this training, I didn't want to find a general developer who just learned about smart contract security over the weekend for the instructor. I really wanted to find a security expert and that's why we picked Suhil. So I'm super excited for this training and if you want to book your seat, you can follow the link in the description. For those who watch this video after the live event, you can still take the course because we will upload a recording after the live event and you will have access to our private Discord. That's it for this video, I will see you for the live training, bye!